It's me, it's Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. So, um, I got a message from a woman, and it was in two parts. And somebody else had already asked me the second part, so I was like, okay, well, let me just put this together. The first part said to me, she wanted to know what happened with the situation I told you about the other day when the money was missing. And she asked me, what did I do? You know? <laughs> and I was like, I just moved on. I went to goddess. I prayed. I left that person alone. And I moved on. You know? And she said to me, like, you're not going to get revenge or, you know, you know, do something to her. And I'm like, you know, I'm not that kind of witch. I'm not the kind of witch that hexes or curses or things like that. To me, honestly, you don't have to do all that. <laughs> to me, that's just drama, immaturity, to me. Because I don't feel like you have to do all of that, all that TV shit. <laughs> you know, you don't have to, you know, summon some great thing to go and knock over their PlayStation. <laughs> you know, you don't have to do all that. All you have to do is pray. That's it. And just tell goddess what has happened to you and ask for justice to be served. That's all. That's all I did. I didn't do nothing else. And of course, I backed up off that person. Our friendship is over. But um, I didn't do anything wicked or anything along those lines. I would never. I'm not that kind of witch. I don't do things like that. Now, you will come across people who do, and you will come across people who say you must. And you will come across me who says no, <laughs> no to any of that. I don't care what somebody did to me. There's no reason to pick up my wand to cast against them. I'd rather punch them in the face, to be honest with you, <laughs> than, than to pick up a wand against them. That's, that's too much. Yeah, that's taking up too much concentration. I'm not doing all that. I'm just going to surrender it. That's it. It's like I do. Just surrender it. When you're in the right you don't have to go through shenanigans. All you do is surrender it and stand back. Because in my lifetime, I've seen everybody who's done anything to me fall. I've stood back and watched them. You don't have to hurt people. All you got to do is stand back and let justice play its part. And it will every single time. Karma is really a bitch when you are. And the second part of her question was... How do you learn to trust again? And I'm like, you know, you're never going to trust that person again. Or common sense would tell you not to trust that person again. But this is where we, especially Aquarius, get it messed up. We get betrayed generally more than once. And then we decide not to trust anyone. See, now you've gone from being betrayed to a trust issue. And people will come to me and I'll look at their cards and I'll see a trust issue and we'll start talking about the trust issue. And I see that it's not, you know, some arbitrary issue that came out of nowhere. They have a trust issue because they've been repeatedly betrayed. So they say to me, how do I work through a trust issue when I've been betrayed and know there's the probability of being betrayed again. And I say it like this. When you touch a stove, you know the stove is hot. So from that point on, it's in your mind, if I touch a stove, the stove is hot. But that's not the truth. When you touch a stove, it might be hot. It could be like mine and hasn't been used for a week. <laughs> and it's rather cold. <laughs> okay? You can't assume because you touch it, it's going to be hot. Instead, you assume that it could be. So when you meet a new person, you know automatically this person could be just like my old betrayer. They could be just like my abuser. They could be just like that person. Or they could not be. See, this is where the trust issue comes in. Because the new person deserves 
to prove themselves. And if you've already decided that they're guilty, they can never prove themselves. So you have to judge each one on the one, not just say, I'm not trusting nobody. As they pop up, you got to judge each one on the one. I'll trust somebody again. Not that person. <laughs> but I will trust somebody else again. Because I'm going to meet somebody else and I'm going to judge them on them. I'm going to give them a chance to show and prove who they are. I'm not going to assume they're fucked up because the one before them was fucked up. You see what I mean? I'm going to watch my back naturally, but I'm not going to not give them a chance to prove and show themselves. I'm not going to assume they're guilty. You see, I'm not going to assume they're innocent either. I'm going to assume that either one can be true and let them show me which one it is. See, when you have a trust issue, that's the point you have to come to. You have to come to a point where you know some people are untrustworthy and you know that some people are. And depending upon where you are in the world or where you are in your life, it might be more untrustworthy people around you than not. But you have to know that they both exist. And I think people with a trust issue forget that. They forget that that exists. And for Aquarius, this is very common. I know a lot of Aquarius who don't trust nobody. And I was like that for a long time. And just in the past six months, I've realized that in order to be in a relationship, I have to be willing to trust the person, you see. So I have, and all of us that want to love, if you want to fall in love, you got to get vulnerable. You have to trust the other person. So all of us that have that trust issue, but want to love again, have to work that out. <laughs> and this situation that just happened, you know, could have set me back. I could have been like, oh, F that. I ain't trusted nobody. But it didn't. It further indicated to me that I had to remember that some people will be trustworthy and some people will not be. And that it's not all in one basket or the other and get this some people may be trustworthy but over time show that they're not anymore some people might switch up so I had to get smart and be like you know what all these things are possible not just one we think the stove gonna be hot every time no Sometimes it's going to be hot and sometimes it's going to be freezing cold. The trick is not to touch it real fast, to just ease up on it and see which one is which. You see? So that's what I've been learning, that in order to trust again, we have to realize that not everybody is your ex. Not everybody is your abuser. Not everybody is that thief. Not everybody is that person. Now, whether or not a person is or not, you're going to have to figure out from dealing with them and from interacting with them. But shutting down and saying, look, I'm just never going to trust nobody is the lazy way to do it. And that's the way I did it. I did it that way for a very long time until I realized that I can't move forward like that. Even the cards will show a person and one of their blockages will be trust issues. Can't fall in love. Can't find a decent person. Why? You got major trust issues. If you refuse to get vulnerable, how spirit in the universe going to give you love? When you refuse to get vulnerable, you refuse to trust again. Anybody. So if you're not willing to give it a chance, how's it going to work out? So this situation didn't do anything for me, but reinforced to me that I couldn't allow bad apples to ruin the entire barrel and in the past that's what I did and I would have definitely been reinforced by a situation like this I haven't had something stolen since I, I mean for like the last time anything was ever stolen from my home I was like 
20. <laughs> it was like 22 years ago. So for me, this was like, what the fuck? What is this? But that's what it taught me. Like, hey, pay attention. And don't let this take you back to a bad space. Forgive, release the surrender part, the prayer part, and move the hell on. <laughs> okay? So that's what's happening. I'm moving on, and the next time I meet somebody, I'm going to get to know them and let them show me which category they belong in. But I'm not going to automatically assume that everybody goes in the fucked up category. You know, I'm going to let them show and prove. And that's how us as Aquarius can learn to have trust again. You're not going to trust everybody. That's the bottom line. But there are some people out there, Aquarius, that are worth trusting. There are some people out there. But if you never give it a chance, you'll never attract those people. Okay? I'm not going to let nobody take that from me. And you shouldn't either. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you want to send me a love donation, I will leave my PayPal. If you want to send me a gift on Amazon, I'll leave my Amazon wish list. If you would like to get a tarot reading done, email me for an appointment. If you would like me to answer a question for Ask an Aquarius, you can email it to me or you can drop it underneath this video. Um, and I think that's everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody who's struggling with trust, tell them to watch this and let me know what they think. See you later.